A little while back, I did a video related to the firm asking, should they run it back, right? As you all know, I'm a big fan of the behind the scenes or the process of different things. And um, today, I'm going to take an opportunity to look at interviews from the artists and the producers related to the entire firm album. But before we get to that, I'm going to give you a brief moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm AZ, representing for the firm. Foxy Brand, El Nana. Yo, the boss of the bosses, <laughs> Escobar. Uh -huh. the deal, baby. We came into the game individually, but now we're coming as a collaboration to make it even stronger. This is my right and my left hand. The firm is just, a, it's all about a unity between like, you got, you got different rappers from all over. You know what I'm saying? It's all about us unifying and being standing for something. The firm sound, the firm sound started with affirmative action, which was a joint, which was actually the official first, first firm record ever with Nas, AZ, and Fox Brown on the record. That was L. L. Uh, that was the beginning was, right there. We just wanted to see the response. That was the, that that was response. the, yeah. that was the foundation right there. It was Nas, A, myself, Cornega. We just came in and just, it wasn't rehearsed or nothing. We didn't sit around about what you going to talk about. And we just dropped everything and everything just went for me. So it was blazing. The only thing that kind of halted the project was that everybody had their own careers. While Nas was on tour working his album, I was recording my own. A lot was working mine, AZ was recording his. So it was like we never caught up to each other. So now, while everything's dying down and, you know, got time to be a family again, we just in the studio working. Nas is just incredible to me, you know. Um, he gets in the studio, he just, he, he just does his thing, you know. It, it, it's always good to a producer when you can put a track down and you know that the person is going to get down on it is going to compliment that track no matter what the track sounds like even if you're not digging the track right away they're going to add something to it and really make you get into it more you know um az i feel the same thing about him you know these are these are real cool guys you know i got in the studio i, I expected a, a, a touch of an, an ego there but you know everybody was real cool and we got in there and did our thing boxy i think we were in the studio all of two hours you know what I'm saying? She came in the studio and she wrote her lyrics and laid them. I think both were done in like 30 minutes. You know, that was the first. That was the first for me for somebody to just come in the studio and just scribble. Looks like she's just scribbling something down on the page, and she goes in there and does her thing. One take. So you know, she was she's hot. Um, my style and the Trackmaster style is, is two different things. You know what I'm saying? which makes it a, a, a real good album. It's an all-around album. The track masters um, are more up-tempo, more dance-orientated. I like the, the slower-tempo, grimier type of hip-hop, you know. So that, um, it's making it an all-around album. So we didn't want everybody rapping on every record, you know, that would get monotonous. So what we, we did, we just, we just broke it up. We just decided, you know, just to shake it up a little bit. Everyone a variety of collaborations. Track masters, that's that's us. They with us for life. Our sound is is, is distinctive from anybody else's sound. On top, it's a trade record. Trade record, it's just crazy. When that went out, it's hard. We were in Miami, and the, the track was just playing in the room, and everybody who walked into the room did a stupid little dance to the beat. It was being so crazy. Then um, Nas and AZ, you know, they really put their heads together on that one. They came up with the concept of rapping over f cell phones, you know, and the FBI tapping in, you know, trying to get information. They're talking on the phone, you know, about a little, little operation they're doing, and then the phone beeps, and it's nature on the other line. It's, it's hot. It's Mad never drama. been done before. Mad it's live. Drama. It's just crazy. Live through the whole song. That's my favorite. A lot of things that we go through in life, we could, it's similar to what we see in the films, you know what I mean? So we can relate to Scarface, Godfather, and black movies like Shaft, Hell Up in Harlem, you know what I mean? So a lot of times I like to put that into the music, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can see the, see the, um, the movie and, the, and our videos. It's just a mirror image 
of our world, you know, in, in this society, and and it's if we put some fun into it, you know what I mean? Basically, after we just get this album done, we're going, you know, let the album do its thing, do a firm tour, just keep the family tight, cause well, like wow. I said, it's, it's never been done. What we doing now has never been done ever. What we got for y'all is something new, but it is something that been in the making for a little while. The crew, the firm, me, Fox, AZ, a whole bunch of other new artists, you know what I'm saying, that we rocking with, you know what I mean? It's coming out October, it's banging. Yo, what's the deal, fam? Welcome to the Ease Experience. Yeah, check this out, I have a question for you. Yes, a question, hear me out. Today, yes, today based on how you feel at this particular moment, would you be open and recept receptive or fully engaged in a new firm album? Yes, The Firm. Obviously, their um, only project dropped roughly 25 years ago, I believe. Yes, it dropped in October of 1997. Almost 25 years ago, crazy, right? So the question is, the first question is, would you support it? Would you be excited about it, right? And if so, I have some questions that go along with that if you were to support it. First off, the album comes out as a fan, as a supporter. Who would you want to produce it? Would you go back to the way things were, you know, originally constructed and have Dr. Dre produce, engineer, and mix down the entire project along with his team of people? Would you want to hear, you know, a combination of a producer, such as Dr. Dre or Hip Boy, or would you want someone like Hip Boy, who recently produced Full Circle for them, to do the entire album? Would you want to, you know, have Trackmasters come back to some capacity, or maybe LES and play a role? Or would you want them to work with producers that they typically haven't worked with as a group, but they've worked with solo, like maybe a Primo or Pete Rock or Alchemist, Havoc, or maybe producers they haven't worked with at all, like um, Apollo Brown, or maybe a high tech, perhaps Ye, Kanye. What about Just Blaze? Think, 88 Keys, Nysheen Merrick. What about Battle Cat? What about Soundwave? Terrence Martin? These are just some questions, like who would be the producers? Another question is, what would be the configuration of the group? Now hear me out, do you bring back the core four, which were the four that were um, part of the group on It Was Written, Affirmative Action, which was Nas, AZ, Core Mega, and Foxy? Or would you bring back the core four from the Firm album, which was Nature, who replaced Core Mega? Or would you have all five of them come back together? Or maybe just three, maybe you want Nas, AZ, and Core Mega, or maybe Nas, AZ, and Nature. How would the group be configured if you, uh, as a fan, what would you be seeking? The sound, here's another question. What would be the sound that you would be um, interested in hearing them, um, the, lane, the lane that you would like them to go down? Would it be some live instrumentation? Perhaps just keep it grimy? What about you know sampling, but with a pristine mix? You keep the elements of, you know, vinyl, drum machine, but the mix is pristine, very clean. What about the layout of the album? Should each of them have a solo record? Is everyone going to be on each record? Because remember before they had those limitations where everyone was signed to a major label, so it was a bit hard because there were stipulations, right? But this time around, would you have everyone on each record? Are there any features outside of the group that you would like to um, take place? An artist, perhaps, that you would like to hear on the project that you think would be a pretty good uh, fit? It doesn't have to be a rapper. It can be a singer. It could be a musician. Like, is there anyone in particular that you would want to hear on this album? These are all questions that I have because things are different now. They're all mature. They're wising. They're... they're Business acumen, it appears, has increased. They have years in the game. Obviously, if that 
the initial release was almost 25 years ago. That just goes to show you they've been in the game for quite some time. And I don't believe any of them are contractually obligated to major labels. So they're free to do what they would like to do. So things could be different. But the question to you once again, would you be open to it? Is it something that you would love to see take place? And those questions again are, who's producing? How would the group be configured? You're bringing back the core four, you're bringing back the four from the album, or you have anything else in mind? Mention that as well. What is the sound? More live, in live instrumentation, are you gonna keep it grimy? Sampling, but you want the mix to be clean? And what's the layout? Does everyone get a solo record? Is everyone on each record? Are there any features that you'll be looking forward to? I want to know, man, because I appreciate you all out there. So let me know. Let me know in the comment section who's producing the configuration and the sound and the layout of the album. All right. As always, know that I appreciate you all out there. And here at the Ease Experience, you know, we always state, go get yours. I'm out of here. Yeah.